Hi everyone, it is an absolutely splendid day for football and we're looking forward to the game. I'm Derek Ray, joined here on the commentary box as always by Lee Dixon and very much ready to bring you the cut and thrust of League Two. It's Cambridge United and they take on Swindon Town. Yeah, thanks Derek. Both teams will no doubt be looking for a quick start. So important to get focus from the... To jump in front! And a goal right off the bat! No wonder they're jumping for joy! Well, here's the replay, and as we see, it's a class ball through to split the defence, and he had choices of what type of finish to apply. And bang, he goes for the smash. Lovely goal. The opening goal of the game, then. Fluency of movement. And news coming through of a goal in the Wigan Athletic game. Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Wigan Athletic. Seven minutes played, 1-0. Thanks very much as always, Alan. Untidy on the ball. O'Neill. Davis. And he's won the ball. Went in strongly, decisively. O'Neill. Now he's given us away. How can he take them on and beat them? Can he put it away? Might still be able to do a bit of damage. And he gobbles up second chance disappointment for the keeper no wonder he's asking questions of his defense well here we see it again Derek normally I'm the first to point the finger at the keepers but to be fair it's a good initial save I'm not sure he could have done much better to be honest just a bit unfortunate it really dropped to an opponent well a second goal for them here O'Neill. Not high quality defending. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. Can he get one back? Oh, no, is the answer. It was a guilt edge opportunity. He couldn't avail himself of it. Well, it's a big chance wasted, no doubt about that. Nothing seems to be going right for them today. And it's a quality pass. The end product just wasn't there. O'Neill. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Well, that break looked so promising, but nothing coming from it. As you can see, the visitors haven't had too much of the ball. But again, we've seen it before. We'll see it again. Their counter-attack play has been absolutely fantastic. Pace really hurts defences, and they've got that in abundance. O'Neill losing possession useful looking ball not to be this time O'Neill can they create something from here it's neat passing confidence on the ball good defending to prevent the chance 
Very much run of the mill as saves go. Holland. Unable to keep the ball that time. The quality of pass needs to be a bit better. Beautifully disguised ball. Can he keep his composure? Big chance it is. Oh, that was a terrific stop in a one versus one situation. Well, high fives all round for the goalkeeper. Absolutely fantastic. Opportunity. He had to react and did. Real chance. Another goal. And the match begins. Now the attack looks... He's in with a chance. Well, he's given a corner, the referee. Plays it back. Guy. Dickinson. Well, that's how to break the spirit of the attacker. Cadiz. Moving the ball nicely, looking for that final pass. He's got to score! A concession of a corner here. It looks promising. Wonderful block. But he took care of it defensively. Palmer. Guy. Good looking pass. Tanner. And the cross is fired in, but absolutely no help in the centre. Oh, my goodness! He's caught that so well! A goal of the highest class! Fantastic technique! Guy. Patrick. And space to cross it. Moving the ball effectively, looking for the right moment. Throw-ins given. It might still be problematic. And a time for cool heads. And the right place to cut out the pass. Hunt. Patrick. Dickinson. Oh, the flag has gone up here. Offside it is. Holland. Smith. Superb judgment to end the attack. Patrick. And well, they know they need to stop him. And he's in.
The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Well, there to intercept. I'm hearing that there's been a goal in one of the other matches. Who is it for, Alan McAnally? It's a goal for Port Vale. 48 minutes, please. Now, will they do it from here? Goalkeeper doing his job, getting the touch. Now the delivery, the end product just wasn't there. And intercepts again. Well, we did have to cut off Alan McAnally for understandable reasons. To recap, the hosts did score in that match. And it's now even Stephen, 1-1. I believe there's been a goal in one of the other matches, Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for the home team. 55 minutes played. 2-0. Cheers again, Alan. Excellent challenge. Guy. Now, do they mean business on this occasion? Well, no accuracy at all in terms of the shot unleashed. Well, it's the care and attention, all that work to get in the position and then way, way wide. Substitution time it is here. On and on he goes. It needs an accurate cross. He must finish! And it's a goal! Level again! What a match this is turning out to be! Well, here we'll see it again. There's two parts to every game, with and without the ball. They've soaked up a lot of pressure today, but they've got their reward. Even Steven won a piece on this match. Well, we can now go to Alan McAnally for news of a goal elsewhere. Alan? It's a second goal for Exeter City. 66 minutes, please. 2-1. Thanks as ever for the update, Alan. Thank you. Well, sadly, you've got to say, miles off target. Well, if he'd have just bent it or maybe just gone for a bit more accuracy. Instead, he went for the strong shot and he just fluffed his lines. And the pass could do damage. Big opportunity. They've only gone and grabbed another one. Two goals in quick succession. Now they have the lead. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, here's the replay. It's a really lovely through ball. And once he gets himself settled with the keeper to beat, he hammers it into the back of the net. Smashing goal. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? So, 20 minutes to go. Well, there's been a goal elsewhere. Alan McAnally with the latest. It's a second goal for the home team. 72 minutes played, 2-1. Regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way. The hosts are struggling in terms of possession, but when they've had the ball, they keep delivering the sucker punch. A great advert for low possession, counter-attacking football. It's really working. And he read it well. Well, news coming through of a penalty. Alan McAnally can fill us in. It's a penalty for Rochdale. A slight delay as the ref clears the defenders. And he's made headway. Well, the chance looked to be on, but found himself offside. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Well, the attack carried an initial threat, but fizzled out. Furman and here they come still pressing for an equaliser could be and a goal to level it up late on here just look at the reaction 
Once again, the sides are level. This a kaleidoscope of shifting emotions. Carlisle United goal. The scorer inside the final five minutes now. Dickinson. Well, he went strongly into the challenge, and the result is a throw-in. Giving the ball away. All even, but will it stay that way? The referee and he's broken free. Has a go. Clean through he was then, but he's fluffed his lines, Lee. Well, he just put his head down, Derek, and hit it. He's got to do better than that. Dean Furman. Toure. Furman. So the final whistle and the end of an evenly fought contest, but Lee...